Hello scholars! Welcome to another week of Virtual Athenaeum. This is Mysterious from Tribune East. In today's lesson, it's related to this hot weather. So we know that it is summer and it's already super, super hot. Our discussion question is going to be what are your favorite ways to stay cool in the hot summer. So comment that down below in your comments. Start with, I like to. Da, 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 da. In the beginning of the lesson, you guys noticed that I dramatically waved my hands like this. This is how people used to cool off back then. And we know that like, if you do this, um, it, you can feel the cool air, yes. But people don't know that you're actually using so much energy that you're making yourself even sweat more before air conditioning and fans or any anything electric was not an option people went out to swim in a lake a stream river but these rivers were very cooling or sit under shade of a big tree but for centuries this is what people did so 4,000 years ago, just about, in Egypt, they used these kind of fans like the servant is holding. And the first fans, they couldn't fold just yet, so they used to keep cool for the pharaoh by blocking the sun or moving air around. Fans were often a sign of power and wealth, so it wouldn't be surprising if we see one of these fans near King Tut's tomb. Some were made of ebony with a fan of ostrich feathers. Or another had a hand of gold and was covered in precious jewels and gemstones like this one. There are still um, handmade fans that we see now today that we are familiar with. I know you guys have seen it before. Um, it, they look like this. A lot of the folding fans it originated in mostly Asia. So like these pretty ones here that we see. The Japanese, they modeled their fans to mimic the wings of bats. In China, everyone from empresses to peasants, they use these folding fans in their daily lives. And like many things that begin as useful everyday objects, these fans became fine quality pieces of art covered in paper or silk with beautiful calligraphy, artwork, and embroidery. For this craft, you will need paper. Construction paper is what I'm using. You need to. And then colored pencils, something to color with, or even markers. So first things first, just start drawing away. As the music in the background is playing, please try to enjoy it and have fun with this craft. As you guys can see, I am drawing flowers. Most of you guys know Mysterious loves to draw flowers just because they're so easy and simple to draw. These are dandelions I'm drawing by the way. Make sure you're drawing big enough. Um, I think drawing the whole piece of paper would be perfect. That way we could see the whole picture. Once you start folding them towards the end, I will show you guys after you guys are done drawing and coloring. Also, don't forget that you are supposed to have a second piece of paper so we can make this full fan. There are also different ways to create this paper fan. Should I draw a sun? I think so. We should draw a sun. Shade it, shade it. And the sun rays represent the summer. 
Should I draw a smiley face as well? I think we should. Then for this step, we are going to start folding. So see how I am showing it to you guys? Just fold it front and then back. It can be big or small or skinny, I mean, like mine. This is how I used to do it when I was younger. You just keep folding it until you reach to the end. Um, just like so. Once you've done that, it should look like that. And then you attach the second piece of paper that you did. You can use glue. I use tape. I like tape because you don't have to wait for it to dry and it's faster. But if you have glue, that is perfect as well. And once you have attached both pieces of paper together, you will see it's a full paper fan just like this and you just start fanning away Ta -da! and that is it for our lesson today i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did i'd love to see a picture of your fan please if you will take a photo have your parents permission first of course and have it emailed here i'll share it with your friends on facebook so they can see your beautiful fan as well I enjoy spending time with you guys today and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Bye scholars!